Why does China insist on developing high-speed rail instead of low-cost airlines? On September 14, China's G8491 train slowly drove out of Meizhou West Station in Guangdong, and the Meizhou West to Longchuan West section of the Longyan Longchuan High Speed Railway was officially opened for operation. Since then, China's railway operating mileage has exceeded 160,000 kilometers, and China's railway development has reached a new level. Globally, China's high-speed rail system is regarded as a miracle of modern transportation. Since the construction of high-speed rail was launched in the early 2000s, China's high-speed rail network has expanded rapidly and has become the longest high-speed rail system in the world. In contrast, although low-cost airlines provide a faster way to travel, they have not received the same high attention at the national level as high-speed rail. Why does China insist on developing high-speed rail instead of turning to vigorously developing low-cost airlines? This video will explore this issue in depth and reveal the deep-seated reasons behind China's high-speed rail strategy. The development of high-speed rail in China is not only a transportation project, but also part of the national strategy. First of all, high-speed rail helps promote balanced regional development. China has a vast territory with developed economies in the eastern coastal areas, while the western and central regions are relatively backward. The construction of high-speed rail can break down economic barriers between regions and shorten the time and space distance between different regions, thereby driving the development of economically weaker regions and helping the overall coordinated development of the national economy. In addition, high-speed rail also supports the transformation of the national economic structure. China is undergoing a process of transformation from a traditional industrial economy to a service-oriented economy. As part of modern infrastructure, high-speed rail can improve logistics efficiency, promote the development of emerging industries such as tourism and services, and help China's economy achieve a transformation from resource-dependent to innovation-driven. The role of high-speed rail in the country's comprehensive transportation network is crucial. Through the construction of high-speed rail, China's transportation network has been greatly optimized. High-speed rail not only increases the speed of connection between cities, but also improves the efficiency of the overall transportation network. The construction of high-speed rail stations often drives the transformation and upgrading of surrounding transportation systems, including the improvement of urban public transportation, subways, and other systems, forming an efficient comprehensive transportation network. In addition, high-speed rail also plays an important role in emergency rescue. For example, when natural disasters such as earthquakes and floods occur, High-speed rail can quickly transport rescue materials and personnel, greatly improving the ability to respond to emergencies. Although the initial investment in high-speed rail construction is huge, its long-term economic returns are considerable. High-speed rail brings higher transportation efficiency and promotes the rapid flow of people and goods, thereby promoting economic activities. Cities along the high-speed rail usually usher in a large amount of investment and flow of people, driving the development of the local economy. Especially in more remote areas, the opening of high-speed rail often becomes an important opportunity for regional economic development. The construction of high-speed rail has also promoted the development of tourism and brought considerable tourism income. High-speed rail can greatly shorten the distance between tourist destinations, allowing more tourists to reach multiple attractions in a short time, thereby promoting the rapid growth of the tourism industry. 
High-speed rail has significant advantages in improving the convenience of people's travel. The speed and comfort of high-speed rail make long-distance travel no longer tiring, greatly improving people's travel experience. High-speed rail stations are usually set up in city centers or major transportation hubs, which facilitates passengers' daily travel and reduces the time and cost of going to the airport. The opening of high-speed rail has also promoted social exchanges and economic cooperation between cities. By shortening the distance between cities, high-speed rail makes it easier for people to conduct business activities, visit relatives and friends, etc., which has played a positive role in promoting social harmony and economic development. High-speed rail also promotes the connection and integration between cities. Due to the opening of high-speed rail, the cities along the line have gradually formed an interconnected economic circle. This connection is not only reflected in the economy, but also in culture, education, and other aspects. For example, the opening of high-speed rail allows universities in different cities to conduct more academic exchanges and promote the sharing of educational resources. At the same time, the construction of high-speed rail has also promoted regional economic integration. The economic connection between cities has become closer, and this integration process makes the coordinated development of regional economy possible. Through the connection of high-speed rail, cities can achieve a more optimized allocation of resources, form a virtuous circle, and promote the common development of regional economy. The advantages of high-speed rail in environmental protection cannot be ignored. Compared with aviation, high-speed rail has much lower carbon emissions. Most of the high-speed rail is driven by electricity during operation, and the source of electricity can gradually shift to renewable energy, thereby further reducing carbon emissions. The environmentally friendly characteristics of high-speed rail are in line with the Chinese government's advocacy of green travel, which helps improve air quality and protect the environment. In the future, the continuous innovation of high-speed rail technology will further enhance its environmental performance. For example, the research and development of ultra-high-speed rail technology is expected to make high-speed rail energy utilization more efficient and reduce environmental impact. Through technological progress, high-speed rail can not only provide faster travel speeds, but also achieve greater achievements in environmental protection and continue to lead the development direction of green transportation. In terms of economic benefits, high-speed rail and low-cost airlines have their own advantages. Although low-cost airlines can provide a faster travel experience in a short period of time, their dependence on airports, Flight frequency restrictions and weather factors make it impossible to guarantee the stability of transportation in some cases. In comparison, high-speed rail is more stable in terms of frequency and punctuality and can provide more convenient services in most cases. From the perspective of direct economic benefits, the ticket price of high-speed rail is relatively stable which can bring stable income to the country and local areas in the long run. The aviation industry is greatly affected by market fluctuations, especially in economic downturns. Airlines may face greater financial pressure. High-speed rail provides reliable support for the national economy through stable passenger and freight revenue. The capital demand for high-speed rail construction is huge, which has put great pressure on the national finance. Although the economic benefits of high-speed rail are long-term, the fiscal burden in the short term cannot be ignored. How to ensure the healthy operation of finance while ensuring the continuous advancement of high-speed rail construction is an issue that needs to be taken seriously.
In terms of countermeasures, it is possible to consider sharing fiscal pressure through multiple financing channels, such as introducing social capital to participate in the construction and operation of high-speed rail. Through the public-private partnership PPP, model, some of the financial pressure can be transferred to the private sector while maintaining the smooth progress of high-speed rail projects. In terms of the balance between high-speed rail and low-cost airlines, policymakers need to comprehensively consider the advantages and disadvantages of both. High-speed rail has unique advantages in long-distance and medium-distance transportation, while low-cost airlines play an important role in short-distance and long-distance cross-border travel. By rationally planning the service areas of high-speed rail and aviation and optimizing the allocation of transportation resources, the two can achieve complementarity and win-win results. In addition, perfect policy support and market mechanisms are also necessary. The government should encourage the healthy development of the high-speed rail and aviation industries by formulating relevant policies, while ensuring fair competition and reasonable allocation of resources in the transportation market. China's choice to develop high-speed rail rather than vigorously promote low-cost aviation is not only due to economic and technical considerations, but also comprehensive considerations of national strategy and social development. The construction and development of high-speed rail not only promotes the coordinated development of regional economy and improves the convenience of people's travel, but also plays an important role in environmental protection and urban integration. Despite the challenges of economic burden and financial support, the development of high-speed rail has undoubtedly injected strong impetus into China's transportation system and laid a solid foundation for future sustainable development. In the future, with the continuous advancement of technology and the improvement of policies, high-speed rail will continue to play its unique advantages and make greater contributions to China's economic and social development. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.